Hello everyone, I'm Greg Otto here with FedScoop TV and we're at the Adobe Digital Government Assembly today and I'm talking with John Skidlark, the Deputy CIO of the FCC. John, thanks for taking some time out to talk with us today. Well, well Greg, thanks for having me. So talk to me about how you think the government is progressing in keeping up with new technologies. Are they keeping up with the private sector or are they falling behind? Where do we fall on that timeline? Well, I think the government's making a lot of progress in moving forward with digital initiatives. Uh, you know, even this morning we were talking uh, about uh, USDA's private cloud and, uh, you know, even where, where the Air Force is going, my friend uh, Frank Koneski from the Air Force and, and the initiatives that they're undertaking to move. Uh, we at the FCC are really very excited about uh, our FCC IT transformation program. We call it FIT. And FIT is a three-phase, 24-month program to radically transform how we do IT at the FCC. And um, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for us to be cutting edge in the government. So I'm excited to be part of it. Great, great. Uh, speaking of cutting edge, the themes for today's assembly are secure, efficient, and engaged. With that in mind, where do you see those themes fitting into the way the government is leveraging technology today? Well, I, I think all, all three of them are absolutely critical. I mean, certainly uh, security. You know, the funny part about it is, is that uh, a lot of people are, certain organizations are averse to public cloud because they don't think it's secure enough. And our opinion is that uh, public cloud, you know, assuming they're FedRAM certified, that they meet certain benchmarks, um, is probably as secure or more secure than s services we can provide for ourselves as right. a small agency based on the economies of scale that we can achieve. Um, and certainly in terms of, of engaged, um, one of the themes that came up earlier today was the idea of the next generation coming into the workforce and they have certain expectations, you know, the digital <laughs> natives. Right. And uh, we, we clearly have to engage them. Uh, you know, we, we can't be the thought leaders and the drivers because ultimately they're going to go right around us and leave us in the dust. So I think that, um, you know, those are certainly very valid themes and themes that we want to embrace as we move forward to support, you know, not only internal customers to do their jobs, but much more importantly, the general public and the American people. So. Talk to me a little bit about how the FCC is kind of leveraging new technologies in the face with, I know that we've talked before, the FCC is dealing with a lot of legacy systems and a lot of technology that is growing more and more outdated. So talk to me about how you're integrating new technologies despite the fact that you're dealing with a lot of legacy systems. Well, sure, actually. I'll go back to FIT for a minute, FCC IT transformation. So the first thing that we're doing is what we're calling stabilization. And as part of stabilization, we're moving all of our computing infrastructure off-premise to a managed service provider. Uh, the next thing that we're doing is, you know, David Bray, Dr. Bray, um, my boss, really our thought leader, our, our, our visionary, right. um, has talked many times about uh, us having, you know, 207 systems. When, when you kind of peel back some of the layers of the onion, we like to say that there's 207 technologies in give or take about 100 systems uh, for an agency of 1,700 people, which is still kind of, a, kind of a large number, we think. So we're going to go through a rationalization process where we look at all of the applications and their functions and determine which ones should be modernized and move forward to our new technology, which ones should be killed, and which ones maybe could be consolidated into others. But as we look at that technology then, what we're really looking at is cloud and we're looking at some form of a BPM tool so that we move to a data-centric environment as opposed to an application-centric environment. Right now, today, those legacy systems you talked about, they were, they were all created for good reason for certain customer constituencies right, within right. the commission. But there wasn't necessarily a holistic look at, <laughs> well, what are those things that we're doing that are in common? You know, even simple things like, you know, authentication or sign-on or messaging, right. um, storage. And all of our data is in multiple disparate sources and in many cases tied to individual databases. So now if we move forward and create a cloud-based data platform, all that data is accessible. We can do more analytics on it. We can do some more of the big data kinds of um, assessments that will help to provide trends and opportunities. Uh, and at the same time now, instead of having to do custom code every time we want to make a change, we're looking forward to being able to do more of configuration changes and setting up and managing services that then touch the data. And of course, the other big technology piece is mobile. 
because everything's going mobile. Right. And um, again, not only our internal customers for things like telework uh, or you know field work, but also everybody that comes in and accesses us and, and, and touches us uh, are going to be doing it more and more and more through a, a mobile um, disconnected environment. And uh, we want to make sure that we can keep up and support them. So all of that mobile stuff sounds fascinating, but uh, you mentioned cloud briefly before. Talk to me a little bit and elaborate a little bit more on how this modernization plan leverages the cloud. Well, sure. Uh, we've already implemented a new um, complaint system, and anybody can go look at it right now, fcc.gov forward slash complaints. <laughs> and uh, th this actually runs on a cloud-based platform. It's called uh, Zendesk is the platform, but we designed this and um, where we've looked at other peer organizations or peer systems being created for you know, upwards of $3 million, we actually did this in about four months for about $450,000. And the good news is that the, the cost of keeping the system up, the downstream O&M, is, is, is pretty modest. So that, that is one real world example today of where we've gone cloud successfully. We're in the process of implementing Office 365 and we're going to stand up an Azure instance so that, you know, for applications like SharePoint or maybe MS Access where people are using that, that we've got the back end to be able to touch there. Um, we actually also have some applications that are running on uh, AWS GovCloud right now for our incentive auction optimization and research. And uh, we're looking at putting in a, we call it the data lake. It's kind of an inelegant term. Some people, uh, want to call it something snazzier, but nonetheless, it's a place to put all of our enterprise data and make it accessible. And right now, we're looking at the um, IBM soft layer environment for that. Okay. So, we don't want to let a thousand flowers bloom, but at the same time, we're not convinced that it's one cloud instance that fits all. So, we're trying to make sure that we're proportional and thoughtful in how it is that we um, use cloud, inst cloud instances and cloud platforms moving forward. Great. Great. Uh, besides cloud, where else do you see the FCC leveraging today's technology in their major IT modernization? Well, again, I talked about you know BPM tools. Uh, we've already implemented this Zendesk tool, um, and you know, Office 365 isn't exactly cutting edge at this point, but it's still <laughs> cloud-based and it provides us a lot of capability. And again, it's certainly um, a, a step forward for modernization. Uh, we're also looking at uh, you know, a variety of, of tools, uh, you know, ServiceNow or Pega or Appian that may provide capabilities that are going to be useful for us in our mission going forward. Great, great. Well, I look forward to seeing how that mission evolves. John, thanks for taking some time out to talk with us today. Hey, Greg, thanks very much. You can check out all of our videos on our YouTube page or check out fedscoop.com. My name's Greg Otto. Thanks for watching.